continue our team coverage now with a safety alert this evening. Record highs this weekend and no end in sight for the heat we are suffering through right now. For youth football teams starting practice and football camps this summer, tackling the heat is no game. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro has more on just how seriously these coaches and organizers are taking to make sure players are safe. Case Cassie. Well, Kim and Greg, I don't know about you guys, but even doing simple errands right now in this heat is tough for me. Now imagine these ball players having to fight it out and grind before the fall football season. Right now they're having to do it at 7 a.m. In the summer, ball doesn't stop. Today, NFL player Philip Rivers hosted a football camp for youngins, and as they tossed the pigskin, they were monitored for heat exhaustion. The young core athletic trainer said it was essential. What we like to do as athletic trainers is really focus on keeping the kids safe and keeping them hydrated and always, always preaching hydration, hydration, hydration. One kiddo had to be iced down. The triple digit heat, nothing to play around with. They kind of get dizzy, they kind of start to stagger. They just don't look right. Those are the kids I'm looking for. It's the same for high school level sports. Coaches have to make sure their players hydrate early. We preach to them every day. We're with them. It's, you know, it's too late to hydrate now. They should have been hydrating last night and yesterday and the day before yesterday. State high school athletic guidelines are strict, and coaches like Theodore's Coach Collier follow them to a T. You got certain times you can be in pads, certain times you can be in half pads and, and helmet shoulder pads. But, you know, at the end of the day, what we try to do, no matter what we're in, we're going to hydrate them a lot. Coach Collier likes to keep a close eye on his players to monitor them, and if the heat index is above 103, they shorten practice to an hour or don't practice at all. Now, obviously, they kept saying hydrate, hydrate, but the trick to it is you need to mix up your electrolytes, your Gatorade, your Powerade with your water to make sure that you're properly hydrated. For now in Mobile, Cassie Thambro, NBC 15 News.